We made a video on Nvidia Shield TV tips and tricks and turns out there's way more people with Nvidia Shield than I thought there were. Maybe it's the seductive sound they play every time you boot it up. Remember that? Nvidia. With the power of Nvidia Shield TV you can do so much like cloud gaming, have Android capabilities and have native apps that are built for Nvidia Shield TV. And most of these, or maybe even some of these, work with Fire TV Stick or even, you know, Android TV, whatnot. I'm Vanzi from SmartDNS Proxy and if you're new here, subscribe for more tech, movies and all types of content, or even just fun entertainment. With that out of the way, now let's see some of the best NVIDIA Shield TV apps. First up, we have the wallpaper app for your Shield TV. So Screensaver, as the name suggests, lets you apply some stunning wallpapers on your Android-based TV. It fetches its pictures from popular websites unsplashed and shows you high quality wallpapers curated under the categories of your choice. It's kind of like Chromecast Backdrop, but with more options. Oh, if you want to go a step further, you can also check out Aerial Dream App. It gives you some amazing aerial screensavers like the Apple TV. One of the reasons to buy Shield TV is for gaming, and this next app will take you to the next level. So with Steam Link, you can pair your PC with your Android TV and stream games on Steam via the home streaming feature. To get started, download the Steam Link app on your Shield TV. It's still in beta phase, but works just fine in our testing. Once you open the app, you'll see a code. Now head over to your PC, open the Steam app, go to settings and in home streaming feature, insert the code and that's it. Now you can stream games directly from your PC to your Android TV using the Shield TV remote. The lag is quite minimum and the overall experience is pretty darn cool. Moving on, we have SmartDS Proxy VPN. If you don't already know by now, yes, you can install a VPN app on your Shield TV. Just so as you know, let me show you what it does. So right now, if I go to Netflix and search for The Office, you can see that it's unavailable in my country. Now go back to SmartDNS Proxy VPN and enable it. Yes, you might need to try several servers to find the best one. Turn it on and head back to Netflix and then search again. And then there you go. The Office, my friend, is one of the best shows of all time. And that's not all. SmartDNS Proxy lets you watch geo-restricted content from anywhere. Next up, we have DRM Info. So as you know, every Android TV claims to play files at 1080p, but not all TVs are capable, especially with apps like Netflix or Hulu at full HD due to several issues. DRM Info lets you know if your TV is capable of playing Netflix or 1080p or not. Just launch the app and search for Google WinWine Module DRM, tap on it and navigate to the security patch level. If it says L1, then your TV is capable of playing Full HD or even higher formats, like 4K. Now this one is one of my favorites. RetroArc lets you play retro games directly on your Android TV like Mario or Contra. Fun times, eh? To get started, just pair your controller to your Android TV box and then run the app. Download ROMs and suitable course to run these ROMs. Once done, launch the game and get playing. I know it's too much to take, but don't worry. We'll be doing a dedicated video on retro games on Nvidia Shield, so subscribe to this channel. Now this one, we've mentioned it several times and it still doesn't get old. Haystack TV provides video stories from well-known TVs like IGN, CNN, under one roof. Whether you're a fan of news or entertainment, Haystack is the one to rely on. Android-based TVs don't necessarily mean that it has all casting options. Some Android TVs restrict such features even on Android TV ecosystem. To fix this, you can use AirScreen for Android TV. AirScreen is available on the Play Store officially and it lets you cast your content or mirror your screen via Google Cast or Miracast, Apple AirPlay. Yes, 
Apple AirPlay, and much more. We have a dedicated video on it, which I'll put in the cards, so give that one a watch as well. I know, so much free content, yeah? Next up, we have the App Store of Android TV. So as you know, you can install third-party useful apps and even some apps from your smartphone as well. But the problem here is Google. It doesn't like side loading, so there's limited apps available on the Play Store. App Store TV is one such app market for Android TV, which lets you download lots of apps from multiple categories, including side loaded apps, which are not originally meant to be used on your TV. But here you go. You can use that as well. Give it a go. We usually use our Android TVs to watch Netflix or stream content on YouTube, but the experience can be further taken to the next level by optimized Android TV app like Puffin TV. Puffin TV lets you browse your favorite sites on your TV, and it can also help in downloading those APKs directly onto your Android TV. If you're looking for more options, we have a dedicated video on the best browser for Android TV, which we'll link in the YouTube cards or in the description below. So by now, we know that there's all sorts of cool apps available for site loading. But even after installing, Android TV, especially Nvidia Shield, restricts app icons from showing up on the home screen. To avoid this, you need a third-party Android TV launcher like HAL Launcher. HAL Launcher lets you view all your native apps and site load apps under separate categories, thus making things a lot easier. You can easily install HAL Launcher and use SmartDNS Proxy directly without the hassle of opening Sideload Launcher every time. Since Google has banned the AES File Manager, which was the go-to app for all the Android TV users, there was a need for an alternative for powerful file managers like ES. File Commander is one such app which is equally good, apart from the basic exploring and copy-paste stuff, File Commander lets you even connect your cloud services such as Google Drive, Dropbox, and access content directly from the cloud. Finally, this one is for fun because not everything has to be useful, right? Carafon, as the name suggests, lets you convert your Android TV into a karaoke screen. As soon as you open the app, you get categories like rock, pop, and etc. Inside each category, there are a bunch of free preview tracks, up to 45 seconds of preview. Since this is a subscription-based app, you need to pay about $10 a month to fully unlock songs. So those were some of the best apps that we tested and felt quite useful. Do you know any of them that are alternatives or just better in general? Let us know in the comment section below. I'm Vamsi and click that bell icon if you want to get notified every time we put out a video. That way we can get more views and in turn we'll get more subscribers and in turn we'll go bigger. That'll be helpful. See ya.